All right, guys, today's a huge day for our 6x6 build. We're going to be assembling the front diffs, throwing on the paint mats, and putting the whole entire rear system of this truck together, as well as building our really custom axles to be able to steer in the rear. So you're gonna be wondering what type of gear ratio do we run to run 42 inch tires, or 44 inch tires? We're gonna run 430s. 430s net us one benefit. These are mainly highway driven vehicles. Um, we like that gear ratio in particular for the 10 speed and for 44s, but it also lets us go on the highway. You know, the, the most beautiful part about this truck is being able to cruise 85, 90 miles an hour on a truck that's 20 inches in the sky with six wheels rolling on it. So you might be wondering what I'm greasing. I'm actually greasing this new seal. This seals a combination of a billet piece, some very flexible intersections, and some O-rings. This is gonna guarantee that the floating center off the 14 bolt stays perfectly sealed in its housing while still keeping the big 40 spline outsides with a little bit of flex that they need since they're actually steerable. We're gonna be doing this on this rear axle and on the middle axle, you're gonna see that it's a little bit different because we have the pinion flange which has actually been machined down to hold the transfer case. Transfer case is doing two things. Transfer case is number one, obviously giving us the output to have true six by six and give another output for the rear axle. And also the transfer case is a little cheat code because we get to lift the point of the drive line nine inches above, not only reducing drive line vibrations like we would have normally on a 20 inch lift, but pretty much eliminating because now it's gonna have the same drive line angles as if it had a 14 inch lift. All right guys, so as you can see, we're getting the Himes and the Stainless on these short arm four lengths so we can get the rear axles up and in there and uh, get this thing rolling. This color is crazy. Look how good it looks with that stainless. Bro, these short arm four links are pretty dope. If you think about it in a tandem axle setup, we're trying to make the same amount of articulation on both rear axles, no matter what travel we're getting. This ratio that we decided from upper bar to lower bar is slightly off of the long ratio that we have in the front from the upper bar to the lower bar. Obviously the length change is what's gonna give us that caster change upon suspension articulation. This is the size that we chose not only for aesthetics, but also for ride quality and also to be able to flex this truck out. All right guys, so we got the middle div ready. We got the divorce transfer case bolted up to it, uh, ready to feed onto this other rear axle. Only thing we're really missing is um, axle shafts. Um, bolt the knuckles up and we'll get these things underneath the truck. We got majority of the discs fully assembled here. We've got the transfer case bolted onto the middle axle shaft. You're gonna notice that we have the steering rams on both of the diffs already. Obviously the differential and everything inside that goes with along with that with gear lash and all that is also assembled. We've got both knuckles, ball joints, everybody's in ready to go. So now we're gonna slide these in under there. The only thing that's gonna be remaining for us to do is gonna be the tie rods that we're gonna be doing from the pistons to the knuckles and the axle shafts because we're still waiting on those for these custom shafts that hold that nice 40 spline rear end together.
All right, guys, so we also got all the parts pay match for the 6x6. So, you know, obviously we're doing a crazy build. We want to take off all the texture plastic and get it painted the same color. So as you guys will see the mirror, we actually got rid of all the texture plastic and the chrome caps and put on the silver caps, paint each one of the bars, and obviously they still fold. You guys will see when we put them on the truck. Since going to Dubai, we kept all the orange. I'll explain that later. Um, and then we actually got the headlights fully paint matched as well. Shout out to 23 Designs Mike. He cleaned them all up, got rid of all the chrome on the inside as well. It's a little controversial thing. Some people like to do them black. I like to do them gray inside, gray inside. And we also kept the clear reflector. I'll explain that in a little bit as well. But we're gonna tell these in and get this truck. We have been on an absolute mission to get the 6x6 done. It's been an insane jersey, and today is finally basically ready to go on the road, minus a few components. We've built the front diff, the rear diffs, all of it is attached to the frame with bolt-on suspension parts, and it looks absolutely killer, but more than anything, it's ready to work. You guys will see we built the front diff and hung the front diff, so if you come over here. So as you guys can see here, this is our F450 front axle with our front bolt-on trucks to the axle with our track bar bracket, with our high steer track bar bracket system so that we have full high steer on this kit. All the steering is gonna be converted to Heim so you guys will see we have our high steer knuckle ready to receive the drag link on here. Again, receiving a Heim. You guys will see our fabricated sway bars on with these super beefy sway bar end links that we used for this one. These are, you know, billet sway bar end links. They're absolutely killer. You guys will see the front truss is gonna be a part of holding the front high steer system by relocating the track bar and holding your lower coilover conversion. And then if we come up here, we have our front coilover conversion in our tower. This is a bolt-on conversion. Cut out the buckle, throw the bracket on, and then you know we'll throw in our big dog coilovers. This truck is supposed to sit at 20 inches, so you guys will see how long the coilover is. It's super, super cool to see it fully stretched out before we install it. Now, coming backwards, as you guys will see here, we have our long arm front four link that you guys see us do on every kit. Basically, that's not gonna be our radius arm. We only use long arm four links, no short arm four links in the front. And then you guys will see it connects to the mega cradle. You guys kind of saw this in the last video, the four link to the mega cradle. You just didn't see what it was bolted onto because it was just hanging, right? This mega cradle, like you guys know, is bolt on and bolt on in three pieces with one big overlay. It looks actually nuts. And uh, if you come over here, this is where things are gonna start to get really, really crazy. Which is, bro, it's just nuts. I, I don't even believe it sometimes. But here we have our rear short arm four link to the first dip. So you guys can see we're running our tandem axle setup using two short arm four link setups, right? Two rear four link setups. As you guys can see, if you come in here, earlier in the video, you guys saw us assembling the diffs and assembling the drop box. So if you guys see here, we have our drop box. This drop box is gonna correct the angle of the drive shaft and share power to the other axle. And basically that's how we'll run this tandem axle setup. You guys will see here, we have our coilover conversion brackets like you saw in the last video, holding our coilovers in the rear. Obviously two sets of coilovers that are ready to set at 20 inches. And then, you know, like you saw in the last video, we made custom hoses so that all the hoses are basically facing the same way. If you guys come over here, you'll see this rear short arm four link bracket, right? So we have the cradle in the front, we have the cradle for the front one, but in the rear we needed to make a bracket to hold it, the rear axle that didn't exist on a truck before, right? So we made this bracket here that holds this short arm four link. This short arm four link holds the second diff. This diff is gonna be the same as this one. They both have the ability to steer in the front. Manny's gonna break down, you know, exactly what the diff is and all that. But, you know, for the quick standing, it's basically a rear diff with the tube shrinked on to a front tube of another axle, that, a front axle that allows you to steer in the front. Obviously, that's my little quick summary for you guys. You guys will see we have our brakes, our rotors, our pads on. Everything is ready to bolt on the wheels. Um, no, this thing is gonna be absolutely out of control with six wheels on it. Like, it's the first Aluma Duty to have six rear wheels that are gonna steer with your app. And, bro, I can't, I can't be, like, just come in here, bro, just come in here. 
being in here and just seeing everything, let me get the camera. Coming in here and seeing everything, you guys see our hydraulic assist, ready for the tie rods to be able to steer in the rear. You guys see the brackets. This coilover conversion, or this rear short arm four link bracket actually holds this bracket in the middle, which serves as support as a cross member. So when we were building the diffs, I had lost my voice, so that's why I had Chris talk over her, but bro, this thing's absolutely out of control. The wheels are just getting here, but that's something you will see in the next video. Uh, we also got all the paint matching. So it's a 450 cabin chassis, so it doesn't come with badges. So Manny actually made this badge to sit right here. And it's cut out in our stainless like our lift kits. So you guys will see it says poppies and then 450. You guys will see we did the headlights on this truck. Like we do to all of them, except a minor difference is we kept everything in here technically legal, right? So you guys will see we took out all the chrome in the headlight and then we also left the reflector clear and then the orange bulb in there you know i like to eliminate those completely but because it's going to dubai i want to make sure it has all the orange lighting visible we did the back the back of the grill the bumper is going to be fully pay match and then we got our badges they're inside the trunk uh we still got to do a couple more things but uh the biggest thing is that this thing's basically ready to hit the road i'm gonna get into the app in the next video but the app is on the app store officially so you know it's obviously not ready for anybody yet but that was a huge step getting it approved and stuff all right man so overall the 6x6 is basically ready to hit the road the wheels come in that's gonna be the first thing in the next video and you guys will see six 30 inch wheels on 42 inch tires we're not sure if we're gonna go with 42s or 44s yet but uh it will be super dope so super stoked to bring you guys along the journey take this thing to dubai or let it even hit the roads it's gonna go nuts so Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. PJ Trucking, Poppy's Garage. Stay tuned.